So what we have here and what this treatment machine allows us to do is for every day that a patient's anatomy changes, it allows us to make adjustments for that patient-specific anatomy for that day. For example, with our head and neck patients, we see them lose weight over the course of treatment, and then we can adjust to those changes. With our artificial patient here, the first thing we would do is we'll take a CT scan of the patient to determine their anatomy from for today. Um, that's what you hear right now. That's what you can see the machine is doing. So now once we have a CT scan of the patient, we can review that patient's anatomy, how the CT scan looks. The system will regenerate the contours that we drew on the initial patient. So in this case, this would be the other structures that we are concerned about when treating this patient. So those structures might be the bladder, um, the prostate itself, the rectum, which we want to avoid, and seminal vesicles in this case. So once we review those contours and we could edit them and adjust them here on the fly, these are auto-generated by the system. And what we're seeing here is our original treatment plan on the patient's anatomy when they were first, when they got their first CT scan. And then what we're seeing on this side is the patient's anatomy for today and how that might have changed. So all the different scenarios that we might be able to think about uh, for all the different body, body sites where anatomy might change, we can make adjustments on the fly for that patient's treatment. Uh, which we can't do on our other machines, and that's what this technology allows us to do.